Hi, Tim. I'm Colonel Failure, and uh, Scott Manley is my homeboy. Now then, we're joining uh, back to the uh, the Colonel Space Program here. Now, the money looks right. The science looks about right. Does it, Does the science look right? I don't know. Hold on. Let's let's go to R and D. Um, the the reason for my uh, my notings of this will become apparent very soon. I thought I'd done those. No, I don't think you have. No, I think the science looks right. The science looks right. Here's why I'm perplexed, uh, chums, because I went here and uh, there's Bob, yeah, there's Tanrod, okay, and there's Katniss. Um, well, yeah, I've, I'm not sure where they came from. Uh, maybe they they walked away. Now, this is the thing, is that Hado, oh no, there's, there's Hado, look. He's, uh, he's missing in action. That doesn't mean he's dead. Okay. All right, well, I've got a couple of pilots turned back up again. Although Katniss was a one-star pilot, is now not a one-star pilot, I could honestly not tell you what's happened. Uh, I had to double-check my save game a couple of times to, to figure out what I'd done. And this is the latest save. And uh, and going back and checking the previous video, it's at the same time as previously. So Katniss has become more stupid, uh, but has, uh, well, in sense of lost experience but is back with us here. I have no idea. I thought I was going to struggle because I had no pilots. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to need to do something to do anything useful at all. Let's, uh, let's go to the contract centre. My reputation is in the, uh, uh, is in the garbage chute. Um, uh, right, active, none, good. Available. <laughs> okay. Uh, ferry a VIP to our destinations. Suborbital flight, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I've not had, I'll be honest, I've I've really not had any success with uh uh with carrying more than one uh space monkey at the same time there. It's it's just not it's not something that I've 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 managed at all. Uh t test the stack separator at the uh at the launch site. Well, doesn't that just mean put something on the... All right, we'll take that. I'm going to see if this works. Have we got any other launch site tests that I can conduct here? Because I will. I'm, I'm happy to do so. Then we've got to go to the moon. <laughs> I have enough trouble getting into space. I don't know how you expect me to get into the moon. Um, yeah, yeah, haul the terrier into, uh, into escape trajectory. <laughs> no, I've, I've got a, I do have a notion of something that might be, might be worthwhile. Let's go to conduct atmospheric surveys of... Yeah, we might be able to do that. It might, might, be, might be doable. All right, we'll take it. I, I, just, oh, I feel the fear. Right, what are we doing? We're testing a stack separator. Okay, right, well, we'll go to the VAB, and we'll put something incredibly straightforward together to, uh, to do that. Uh, where's, me, where's my contracts panel here? Here we go, right take pressure readings no we don't want to do any of that uh what's the other one the ts12 stack separator uh that's ts stack stack separators ts12 that's the fella okay you just need me to test this so if i stick it onto something that is going to stay intact right well, we'll stick a pod on that let's uh, get the cheapest one we use 600 quid 300 quid uh, that doesn't have a pilot on board where's the fun in that uh, the, 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 the KV-1 onion re-entry module, the Mark 1 command pod. I'm going to go with the Mark 1 command pod because we can put water We can put water in it. No, it means it's it, that's good. It's got a liquid sign on it. I see. Uh, and then the stack separator, we shall put that on the top of it. No, wait, we shall put that on the top of it. <laughs> see, I'm not a complete idiot. Um, and that will probably do the trick. Do we want to reinforce the bottom of it at all? What do you mean? Well, I could stick a... I mean, I could stick a heat shield on the bottom. That would give it a little bit more more strength. No, I reckon you'd probably be good. All right, okay. Yeah, this will do fine. Um, uh, we'll, we'll just call this the gubbins. There you go, gubbins. Right. Uh, who's on... I said it really doesn't matter who's on board. Tanrod's on board. Oh, goody, goody. Okay, yeah. Go to, uh, go to the launch panel. Here. Now, this should just work, right? All i got to do is test this thing. Didn't say I had to have anything attached. And, uh, although it possibly does. I haven't read the instructions properly. As is probably obvious. It's quite dark. We'll zoom in and go. 
There you are. Oh, where's it going to land? Oh. Ta-da! Tested. Was that, was that what you had in mind? It was what you had in mind. Great. Okay, good. Contract complete. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we got some good data there. But I bet you did. Right, okay, good. And, uh, well, there's that. Recover the vessel. <laughs> hey, uh, good, right, hey, that was that was splendid. Well, uh, as as successful as anticipated. Um, yeah, we, we we got some bits. We've actually got some more cash now. Uh, that's nice. Uh, tan rod gained absolutely nothing at all. Well, we'll it, it, just have to live with that, right? Where are we going? That's the runway. I want the space plane hangar. We're building a space plane, everybody. I've decided that. Uh, so this going out into altitudes, that atmospheric exodusing kind of business is a really terrible idea. So we're going to build a plane, and uh, and I'm I'm sure it's going to be great. Now we're going to want a bit of something on there. Let's put a payload here. We'll stay. We'll bang a service bay on there. Yeah. What are you going to put in there? Don't know. And then uh, and then a cargo? No, no cargo. Utility, crew cabin. We could do a crew cabin. All right, yeah, let's let's try that. We'll, we'll stick a service module and a crew cabin, and uh, and then we will bang on the necessary bits and pieces. Fuel, we uh, we want liquid fuel, jet fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's the ticket. It's not uh, it's not quite big enough, is it? No, it's the wrong size. Try this one. There you go. That's beefcake. Ah, oh, lovely. Right. Okay. And we're going to want one more. So this is very much like the little dog that I went for a went for a stroll around my uh, uh, my whatnot. Hold on. Caution. Flammable liquid. Hey, it'll be safe. Don't worry about anything. And then we're going to want some kind of uh, some kind of jet engine on the back of that basic jet engine. And I'm basic as well, so that's all good. Really, it, it doesn't come in a slightly larger size. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not that size is that important in this case, but, you know, it would be it would be nice to have it in a slightly larger size. Is there another way that I can fit this to here? No? All right, well, let's, let's do... It doesn't feel right. That feels wrong. Which would be the opposite. Hold on, what are you? You're the Rocco Max brand adapter. What are you for? Uh, well, we, I'll tell you what, we can give it a go, and if it's no good, then the plane just won't take off. That's, uh, that's too large. No, I want, I want uh, what I've got now to slightly smaller would be, would be perfect. No, I'm, I'm just guessing that that's, that's not, a, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. All right, okay, well, we'll bang out on there, and that should be, that should be terrific should be um right now what next give us some wings okay well hold on you've got a small circular intake what's this this is a tail connector yes oh hold on well we mm, ah yeah see i'm not i'm not i'm not feeling that i'm not feeling the uh, the action here oh well well now since we, we could separate those and, and stick them underneath the wing. Don't make it any more complicated than you absolutely have to. Swept wings, yes. Right, I'm going to want a couple of those. Now, it's uh, because Scott Manley is my homeboy, uh, we're going to want a centre of thrust. We don't need centre of thrust. We need centre of mass, right? And then aerodynamic overlay, Pro probably centre of something. Uh, we want centre of lift. Which is where exactly? Mass, thrust, aerodynamics. Surely it's aerodynamics. Well, let's let's find out. I want because I want me uh, I want me lift and mass more or less uh, same place. If it's all the same to you. So by banging it there, we're going to move the mass forward a bit. Or no, you don't want your lifting surfaces further forward than your mass ball. Ah, see, I learned something there somewhere. Uh, no, right, let's bang a tail fin on this sucker, and we'll we'll try and be traditional with it. That's uh, tail fin. Yeah, sling that right on the uh, on the top edge there. We don't want it too close to the uh, the old jet engine. 
Otherwise it might get a bit crispy. Has that got a built-in control surface? Because we'll want some. Uh, no, it's it hasn't. Okay. Do we have one that does? Deluxe winglets. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wing connector thing. Okay. Yeah. And a tail, a tail bit. Uh, a small circular intake. Well, we're going to need a small circular intake. Oh, I've got an idea. Okay, I've got an idea. All right. I know how we're going to do this. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a scheme here. Right, you just go, just go. Tell you what, go and clear off. Go over there. We'll, we'll bang this big pointy tail thing out the back. Tail out, out the back. Move the, move, move that. Grab this. Plonk it on there, because that's what aeroplanes look like, apparently. No, I don't think they do either, but apparently they do. Right, okay. We'll wang this right the way back here. Is that on the top? so far as you'd notice okay cool and then um uh we'll put a couple of little uh, a little winglets on the back we'll give it some symmetry uh, like so uh we'll have them angled ever so slightly because it's stylish oh yeah oh look at it who wouldn't want to ride failure air and then uh, and then we'll bang some uh, some big old sweat wings here uh, sweat wings right about there how's that look well they look like wings they look like they're in more or less the right place uh, I will have to move them in a moment though because I'm going to bang some engines on underneath now I don't know if these engines are actually going to pick up uh, the fuel or not um, I assume because you know it's a game after all and it's not there just to make you feel miserable about everything uh, that uh, if I sling these underneath the engine here, yeah, you see, I don't know how you, I don't know how you'd fit these here though. Well, it's it's relative, uh, yeah. I mean, under or over, I'm I'm happy either way, as long as they're going to sit on there. So it doesn't seem to, it doesn't want to actually snap to uh, anything. Well, try try something else. Okay. All right, okay, well, we will try something else. We could, uh, hold on, we could put a liquid fuel whatnot on there like this. Oh, yeah, you're playing with flipping danger here. Look, I've I've, I've flown on planes. I know what they do. Uh, bang these. Oh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's stick them on there. Are you going to put a pilot in this? I, I had considered putting a pilot in it. Why do you ask? Well, just purely because you're going to get them killed. Well, apparently I'm not. They'll come back. See, look, that looks sort of plain-like. And then uh, we'll... Uh, I don't know how it's going to affect the handling of the beast, but uh, hey, we're, we're here to adventure, and therefore adventure is what we'll do. And then we'll bang these on the back like that. See? Silky. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll bung some, uh, some air intakes on the front. All right? Like that. Okay, yeah, I said, those do look like engines. You're not wrong. And I, I have to I have to give you credit. This does look like a plane. It does, doesn't it? All right, well, what if we move the whole engine assembly so that, it, so that we're not clipping either bit? Stick them right on the edge of the wing. Ooh, tasty. Yeah, that's, that's like something George Lucas would design for your Star Wars there. Okay, that's quite funky. I have no idea if it's going to work. I'm sure many of you will say, it's not going to work. Also, I'm carrying enough fuel to really detonate myself there. What's what's that now? That is, that's my aerodynamic centre, which is now well off from... Ah, you see, I need to pull the wings forward to get the aerodynamic centre and the wing effigy uh, kind of in alignment. And apparently that means sticking it on the nose. That doesn't look right. This, however, does look like we're going to... Because, uh, okay, that's, no, that's now my centre of lift. If I can put my centre of lift and centre of mass pretty close to each other, everything should be groovy. Alright, so if... I need to pull the centre of mass forward, so I've got to put my wings there. Well, maybe make the back less heavy? 
Yeah, okay. Well, we can we can probably do that. I can get rid of this ostentatious tailpiece. No, you shouldn't need to. What if we were to angle the wings in a, a, a fairly dramatic fashion? Oh, you see that? Ah, oh, ah, ah. Ah, sweeping the wings. Uh, it's, uh, it just moves it vertically. Okay. All right, well, look. We'll bang that on there. It's It's obscured my service hatch. Well, what you could do... It's a bit of a faff. All right, we'll try it. Really? Yeah, we'll... we'll oh, this is, it's, it's going to fight you, though. All right, no, we'll, we'll chance it as is. So you've, you, you've got a knowingly defective... Um, <laughs> a knowingly defective design that you're just going, yes, it'll be good, though, won't it? Right, now, I've got to put some control surfaces on these wings. Otherwise, I won't be able to control anything. Uh, can we... Yeah, that's it. That's good. Right. Has that helped? Not especially. Okay. Well, hold on. What's what's going on with those winglets at the back? No, no, they all look good. Alright, yeah. I wanna I do want this rudder to actually, you know, rud. It looks like it should rud, but it doesn't appear that it's it's rudding at the current time. So we'll we'll slap one of those on there. Which just feels ridiculous. Uh, you well, you should be able to do it just using a bit of, you know, pitch, your, and the other one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, look, it looks like a jet plane. Let's put some, let's put a landing gear on the thing, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll see what we see, won't we? Alright, well, if you bring the landing gear, well, hold on, I have to grab them, and then, uh, what's this doing to my, uh, no, no, it's not doing much to my my actual aspect. So we we'll sling them back there. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then we'll we'll stick one up on the nose. No, you only need one on nose end. This is flipping still silly. I, I, I'm gonna get him killed. I've no I've no idea how to actually get to the place that I want to go to. There we go. We got a nose wheel. We've got two at the back. She. We want to move the. <laughs> We want to move the gravity a little bit. I think it's... The, the, tell you what, look, let's do that. And then let's grab... I want to I want to grab this engine bit. All right. I, don't, I, I just, just want to grab the engine. This, this here fuel tank... See, look. Look how well balanced it almost isn't now. Just... I don't want to remove the whole... All right, slap it back together again. All right, take the tail off. All right, take this off. Throw it away. We've got we've got more than enough fuel for this caper, probably. Uh, if we sweep the wings further forward, will that help, or is that going to make life worse? If we move them back, what's that going to do? I've got too much lift at the back. Maybe I don't need those two little whatnots at the at the tail end. You can tell that I'm a flipping expert at this, because uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Look, how about that? Well, it's still looking like a plane. You haven't got your landing gear anymore. Just... F oh, look. Well, okay. We go without the things at the back. And uh, and then everything's peachy, allegedly. I don't believe that for a flaming instant. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we we do what Scott Manley tells us to do. And uh, and that's, that's all good. Right, got landing gear. Possibly want to move them up a little so that the nose is pointed... That's not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, yeah, no. No, see, no, you've, you've, you've got the wrong end of the stick there, Tiger. Um, I'll be honest, they're not going to work so well. No, 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 no. Look, I want it to look like landing gear does on... on. Right, those ones are clearly defective. Let's try it again. No, you're upside down. Ta-da! No, I mean, that might be the way that we end up landing, but it's really not what I've got in mind. There you go. Right, good. Now, all I wanted to do was just lift them up a smidge. You're, you're going to be dragging heavy on the back there. In fact, you'll probably be dangling your ostentatious tail quite uh, quite significantly. And you'd, we don't want to do tail dangling. I just chance it in a, in a fairly standardized... Still too high. No, don't grab the whole flipping tail. I swear, this is not the game. This is this is me being completely flipping useless. Uh, right, there we are. That looks that looks like an aircraft, doesn't it? 
does look like you're not wrong. It's, I'm tempted to call it Fireball XL5, were it not for the case that that's quite likely what's going to happen to it. Uh, right, we're going to bang some shoots on. Oh, yeah, we are. Because after <laughs> I don't anticipate being able to park this properly first time. I'll give it a go. Uh, but uh, if we stick those on the center of mass there, uh, or, or, you, 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 or not, as a case of it, bang it on the center of mass. There you go. Obviously, they do have some mass themselves, so, just so they too will, will generate some mass. All right. It's a, it's a plane. That is an aircraft. What have you got in your service bay? Don't, all right, just nothing. All right, I'll, I'll look. It's got a passenger cabin on board, and so uh, we'll go out without a passenger on board. We'll use one of my deceased pilots uh, to take this for a spin, because they shouldn't be alive anyway. Um, this is going to be, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, the torque jet. Torque. Do you want to spell it properly? Up yours. Uh, torque jet. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, the, the chalk jet. Uh, wow, we're going XL5. There we go. No, this is the XL1. Obviously, you can't go out with the XL5 immediately. Suggests you've had some practice. Does feel like my wings are in the wrong place. They should be right there so it doesn't get squirrely, right? They should be matching up. If I can have everything in the same kind of situation. Then we should be... Pe well, okay, look. How about not? And then we'll s just see what it... Ooh, no, that that looks unsafe. All right. And you think this looks safe, do you? Give or take, more or less. Could happen. All right, there we go. Right, now then, well, let's, uh, we're going to need a separate stage because we don't want to fling the parachutes out at the same point as we, we set the, the engines a burn. Groovy. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's got enough thrust... We should uh, we should be able to thrust it really quite nicely. All right, save this monkey. Uh, who's uh, who's the skipper? It's Tanrod. Excellent. Are we taking anybody else? <laughs> no, no chance. All right, let's go to the launch bay. Hopefully, it puts us on the runway and not the uh, not the actual launch pad there, because because uh, that wouldn't be ideal. I'm f I'm feeling good about this. There's lots to feel good about. Okay, now I found out that you can press B and it puts the brakes on. Brakes. Brakes. There we go. Oh, would you look at it. Are we going to do a night flight to start off with? No, we're not going to do a night flight to start off with. And I'm also, I'm going to have a look at the map. That's that's maybe too much. That's more map than I actually wanted. What's this? This is all bits of broken bits, right? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, these are places I've got to go check out. I've got to take pressure readings in flight below 18,000 metres. Uh, oh, okay. Should we put some tools on the plane? Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, back to the scrub scrub mission. We've forgotten some bits. Um, okay. All right, recover the, recover the vessel. That's fine. I never used any of it. It's That was all free. That was that was free money right there. There we go. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Good. Tanrod got nothing from that, but that's to be expected. Back to the space plane hangar. What do we want? Pressure readings. So we want uh, we want me barometric whatnot. Okay. Science. Give me the science. You are a press barometer. Okay. Now then, three of them we need. I think we might configure them in a uh, in a very uh, a very expert uh, row along the uh, along the top spinal region here. Yeah, and one more. There you go. No more than eighteen and a half thousand meters. That's that's not a problem. I don't, I don't think we could get that high. I I think this is possibly interfering with the aerodynamics a smidge, but I I'll be honest. I don't care. Uh, right, okay, save that. Uh, now then, can we leave this facility for a moment? Let's get it through to morning, and then we shall go on a happy, 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 happy flight. What's that over there? That's the uh, the Pingo, Pingu 901A debris. I don't know what it's doing out over there. Have we got any other debris kicking around? Oh, look, there's some more. It's the vacant Torpedo Alpha. That sounds safe. Yeah, there's, there's two bits of that. Can we Can we grab them? Uh, fly it, recover it. There you go. This, recover that as well. 
Yeah, there we go. Um, where's Pingu? Pingu. We'll we'll have that right. I've no idea if that's added any value to us or not, but uh, but there it is. Right now, then we can also oh look at that. Oh no, I've found some keyboard controls and what have you. All right, three in the morning. No, 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 no let's uh, let's wait till daylight. There we go, and that will do nicely. Right, gorgeous, lovely, absolutely ready to hammer it down the runway. I don't know how you set waypoints. I'm going to eyeball it until I... You're not going to eyeball it. I am. Watch me. Okay, right. Tan rods on board. Our, uh, <clears throat> our brave and bold and beautiful test pilot is ready to give this absolutely uh, absolutely the works here. I, I'm not entirely sure this is even going to... I, I'm not, it, it might blow up straight away. We might rip the wings off immediately. Um... But we'll we'll assume that we won't, and therefore we will go and uh, we will go and find our locale. Now then, can I activate navigation? Okay, all right. Okay, we know where we're going. We're going to go up here a bit, round the mountainside, and then uh, and then we'll zip past all three, and I shall expertly uh, record the data from each of them as we go past. Either that, or we'll explode on the runway. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Let's uh, set that to the correct uh, tracker. Let's uh, give it a bit of old, old throttle there. You don't even need a countdown for this. Uh, let's just give it some... Well, it's making plane-type noises. All right, throttle up. All right, okay, max juice. Come on in. Come on then. Uh, well, it, it is probably a bit heavy. Now, I don't know whether I want to wiggle the, the stick up or down here. Probably a bit of that. Alright, we're only doing 30 metres a second. The end of the runway is coming up. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, we should have speed here. 50 metres a second should be enough to get us up and out, up and away. We lost a bit. We lost We lost the other... We all lost, lost the other bit as well. I think... I'm missing those little tail lifters. I reckon, I reckon Tanrod walked away from that. To be fair, when the first wing came off, I should have aborted immediately. Anything else going to blow up, or are we good there? Uh, I reckon that's Tanrod over there. Yeah, okay, what have we got? Uh, Why did that not lift? Yeah, okay, highest altitude reached 70 metres. That was probably just a bit of debris. Uh, yep. No mention of Tanrod. Okay. All right. Back to the uh, back to the space plane hangar. We're not going to revert. It's not how we roll here. All right. Close. Good. Uh, recover what you can, and uh, and we'll be we'll be good from there. Yeah. It'll, it, it'll be right. Let's go build another one. I don't know if Tanrod's still available or not, but if he wants another crack at it, he can have it a go. If he's not available, well, I thought he was dead already, so, uh, you know, there is there is that. Let's have a look at the crew situation. Nope. Uh, no sign of Tanrod. Uh, I've no idea if he's alive or dead. Uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure he knows either. Why did you not lift? We, we had a good amount of speed there. These little lifty panels should have done the job. Uh, maybe do you need to be ahead of the set? No, no, you're on mass point. That should work. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, in that case, I've got absolutely no idea. How heavy is this tail? It's only 0.2 of a ton. It's aerodynamic. Yeah? Okay. Well, I, yeah, I suppose it is. Do you come with any lifting? You have, you've got a very small control surface. All right, well, that, you know, that might be all we need, but I'm, I'll am i be honest with you. I'm at a bit of a loss to understand why we didn't get any lift at all there. Right. Yeah, that's... That's that's pink, right? What, what about the blue one? The blue one was useful. There we are. So, this is the centre of thrust. Yeah, okay, cool. And uh, that's the centre of mass. Yeah, that's, uh, that's more or less where I left it. Uh, should we should we haul these wall hauling these back do moves everything back if we haul them forward I you need you do need lift at the front of the uh, at the front of the vehicle 
All right, well, let's try and write up on the uh, on the nose of the plane. Because that's got all of this almost in a line there. Yeah, I think I think you're you're going to be leaving yourself vol likely to explode in another fireball here. That doesn't look good, doesn't does it? So you're just going to put them exactly where they were before and hope that those those tail fins get it all done for you. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, we're we're up to the uh, the talk jets uh, XL two. The one was was not great. Okay, Katniss is on board, and she's our best pilot. Or was until she died. This is the ghost of Katniss, and uh, she's she's our, our last pilot. Uh, I've got cash to hire another one. But to be honest, I think their salaries are going up. I, I suspect they are, they are rather taking danger money at this point. Um, right, check the staging. Katniss is there. She looks good. She's ready to rock and roll. Okay, throttle to uh, Crispy. Are we going to set a waypoint? Sure, why not? I, you know, it's not going to do any harm, is it? It might. Activate that navigation. Thank you very much. Uh, head back to the launch pad. And uh, let him have it. All right, brakes off. Give it max cheese here. Now, are we going to get any lift at all? Now, ah, now if they're, if they're going up while I'm doing that, then... That's going to... What? I, I think they're, they're operating in, in alternate directions. Alright, as soon as this starts to deviate from the... Are we getting lift? Are we lifting? Alright, abort. Abort. Brakes. Brakes. Shoots. Hold on. That, that was... A, no, never mind. No, I thought that was the cockpit there, uh, looking safe. All right. There's the wheels, look. They're, 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 they seem to be okay. Uh, have I just blown Katniss up again? Well, based on the, the impact crater here and the, uh, the amount of surviving parts, yes, you have. You have blown Katniss up for the second time. And uh, your plane design not gonna lie is rubbish okay all right okay well there there is that there there's there is that okay good can i recover the oh no wait oh oh well details there okay all right well, I, I obviously skipped past the detail stage who needs them anyway uh oh there we go I'm going to revert to the space plane hangar <gasps> how dare you yeah I know whatever um because uh, I'm not prepared to just fling crew away willy-nilly. Can is still alive. Right. This engine that I've created here, I think, is part of the problem. I think sticking them on the end of the wings is is uh, is probably a, a, a really terrible idea. So we're going to throw those away. Uh, we're going to get rid of the... In fact, just dump the whole thing, man. We're going to dump the ostentatious tail, and we're just going to stick a nice little jet engine on the back of the fuel tank like so i'm not even convinced that these are oh, hold on whoa, whoa, wait 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 we can right click on this and tell it what it's going to do uh pitch yes inactive oh okay uh is there a no no that's that's what we want we want them active to do the thing now then, these wings that i'm using are they are they special in some fashion swept wings 0.75 of a ton. Uh, 0.275 of a ton, even. Uh, what are those? Those are structural wings. Okay, yeah. And uh, any, uh, we got any other, have we got any other advance on, on wing options? No. All right, okay. Then we'll stick a, a tiny little, uh, what do we want here? We want a tail fin. Tail fin, thank you. It's quite large, but we're going to stick it back there. Right. Yep, that's, that's a tail fin, all right. Now, we shouldn't need any tail stabilizing thingamajiggles. Let's turn the whatnot on and see what this looks like. There's your thrust, there's your watsit, there's that. If I line all of these three up, which, you know, for some reason I remember lining all three of those up is a good thing to do. And... 
about there. At what point are we going to hit the bailout button on this one? All right, you can't line them all up, but let's put the wings on the center of mass, shall we? Right, they are right on top of the center of mass. Which should mean that we just take off and get rolling. Okay. Oh, I quite like this swept downward thing. Yeah, except if you look at it, they are going to drag along the wrong way. Is that a bad thing? Yes, it is. What about that? Ooh, spicy. Yeah, okay. Well, you can have it. I mean, you know, give it a spin by. All right, okay. Well, here's the torque. XL3. All right, good. To the launch pad. Time is wasting, and it waits for no man. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to need to check your uh, your activation sequence there. I have a suspicion you're going to throw the parachutes out first. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, look. Yeah, yeah. You knew this was likely to happen. All right, whack that on there. This plane does not... I, I have no idea. Right, throttle up. And give it a beans. You haven't got an air intake. Throttle down. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, stop now. Put the brakes on. Brakes. Thank you. Brakes. Why won't the brakes hold? Maybe if I need to, if maybe I need to click it. Click. No. Click. There you go. Hold us here, would you? Good. Well done. Recover the vessel. Yeah, need an air intake. It's not, it's not going to work without one. No. No, it'll, it'll do that. I've done that before. It'll just go like flaming and then nothing. And that's fine. Oh, well, I seem to... I've, I've lost a bit more uh, bit more rep. Ah, good. Oh, my, no, my total reputation is minus 16. Uh, that's that's a, a carryover from where I killed my passengers. Ah, they would have wanted to go that way. I mean, you know, who doesn't want to go out on a bit of sp space exploration? I'm not entirely sure they made it as far as space, but uh, who wouldn't want to go that way? All right. No, look, I just want you, I, I want you just to be like regular wings. Nothing fancy, just, just kind of sit there. Right, we've got them on, well, they're on that kind of alignment. What do you need? Air intake. Okay, okay, all right, yeah, good, yeah. Where are you going to stick that? Oh, I have no clue at all. We haven't, I mean, I need a, I need a, a hood scoop for this one. Yeah, you can't really do much of a, a hood scoop on this uh, on this design. I think your your notion of, of putting the engines on the wings was a sound one. Well, will it, can it, will it just sit in there and and work? How did I do it on the on the little dog plane? I don't know. Well, that's not attached to it. That's just that's just free floating there. That's that's going to accomplish absolutely nothing. Just attached to some... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Uh, no, no. Yes. No. Yes. Now, can I snap that onto something viable? It's just going... I don't know what you're thinking. Oh. Well, all right. Well, having, the, having a jet engine at the back is going to be a real pain in the bum then, isn't it? Uh, what are, what are, is there not a gizmo of some such that I can then connect these up with? No, right, okay, stuff you. Right, yeah, we're going to go back to the drawing something. All right, right, take this. Yeah, throw it away. All right, back to the drawing board. We're going to have one more spin at this and see uh, see what happens. Get rid of the, the little wheel there. Now then, let's only take things that are going to be useful. First off, bit of fuel. Yes. Slap that. No, wait. Wait. Not bit of fuel. We're going to take cargo because I want to make this passenger capable. So we'll take a couple of passenger cabins. All right, go on. Snap ski. And then uh, I want another one. Yeah. We'll make it a passenger jet. There we are. Right. Are we going to go with the big ostentatious tail? You betcha we are. But I think not having a ruddy great fuel tank in the middle of the plane might actually help quite a lot. Uh, wallop a tail fin on the top of that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, double tail fins. Zesty. Okay, well look, we'll go with double for now, and then later on, 
you can remove one if you want to, uh, you know, shift balance around. Uh, the Delta Deluxe Winglet. It's uh, very lightweight and offers more lift than the other thing. Oh, good. It's, it's very light, isn't it? Doesn't it give a lot of... Oh, doesn't it give a lot of lift for how light it is? Yes, it does. Why have you got all of that business sat at the back? Because it looks cool. All right, fine. Uh, sweat wings. How's how's looking cool got you so far? I, I'll be honest, not brilliant. Uh, but we'll we'll stick with it. Right, we've we've got our center of mass. We're going to put the wings right on the center of mass. That's not right on the center of mass. Move, can we move the camera? I I want to translocate the camera. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Now we're going to need to move them again in a moment when I strap uh, explosives to them. Uh, you may go really explosives. That's that's not what it is at all. We could try it on top of the wings. Yeah, that's not a good idea. We want them just kind of dangling underneath the wings, like you see on a Boeing 747, or in fact, more or less any commercial airliner. I want you to snap to the underside of this wing, not the middle of it. Oh, wait, well, you know what? Oh, oh, ah, now there's a notion. You're going to need to move your... Uh... That's fine, I'll move. Ah, yes, that's, that's like an aeroplane looks sometimes. I'm sure I've seen some with that kind of design. There you go, turbo fans kicking around. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna melt your... your just your nice wing thing here. So let's uh, let's wallop that in a centralized location. Something like this. Is that centralized? Could be. Okay. All right, all right. And then uh, and then grab the little uh, the little jet engines and, and wallop them on there. Okay. Right. Now the wings are slightly further back. This looks more like a jetpack, and that's fine by me. Uh, the wings... Why can I not move this flipping camera? You can. Hold the middle mouse button down. Okay, thank you. About there should allow me uh, the uh, the e ingress necessary in order to, uh, to set this stuff up. How does that look? Wings are a smidge further forwards than you'd like. So about there. No, hold on. No, no, you want you Let's... What I'm thinking here is, we're going to put the control surf... No, droopy wings are no good to you here. I'm going to put the control surfaces about even with the uh, with the center of mass. Yeah, see? Because they're the bits that do stuff with things. All right, now go through the palaver of getting these properly attached again. Oh, hold everything. Yeah, no, 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 you're fine. You're, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine here. W, no... No, this one. No. Yeah, no. No. How do you know if you've got them the right way up? Well, that's a very good question. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Right. We're going to stick those on there. Right? How is this not going to work? Right? They'll waggle. We'll go... Like that. Uh, right. Let's... I mean, let's... Dress for success. We're going to stick the, the barometers on the uh, on the roof again. I mean, frankly, having them on the roof doesn't seem to be the uh, the main cause of problem that we had last time round. All right, barom up. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're just going to lose more rep if you don't complete. That's that's not that's not right. Snap to the roof, you foolish foolish piece of kit. In fact, yeah, get shot of that. All right, grab this one again. Now I'll turn the sim, turn the simatron on. That's it, and then simatron, simatron. There. Right, and then uh, what? All right, grab that, chug it away. All right, okay, good. Right, so you've got your you've got your science kit ready. You're going to need some wheels. Have we got intakes? We've got intakes. Uh, are those actually? I mean, what have you attached those to the fuselage with? Are you, are you using super glue or? Uh, or rivets, which is which is going to be a, a, a good sturdy weld, maybe done by that nice lady out of Flash Dance. Uh, well, yeah, you see, it could be. All right, okay, we got the steering wheel on there. 
I'm going to stick the fixed landing gear at the back here. Uh, stick the fixed landing gear at the back here. Do we care? No, oh, maybe a little bit, ever so slightly. How? <laughs> yeah, not so much on the stability there, lads. Uh, right, okay, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. There. Now, this is, again, I feel I should point out once more uh, that if I were good at this, it wouldn't be anywhere near as entertaining. Uh, right, there you are. That's the Torque XL4. I have a suspicion that it will be the, uh, the XL5 that is the one that works. However, this looks like an aircraft. All right, it's got all the things that you would expect a plane to have, maybe, and this large tail, which I'm not afraid to get rid of. Anyway, to the launch pad, because why not? Ah, we've got, we've got nowhere better to be. Oh, for pity's sake. This better work. If we get airborne, that'll be good, won't it? If we don't get airborne, it'll be, be less good. Right. So we, haven't got, we haven't got parachutes. Like it's made a difference so far. Okay. Have at it. There we go. Right. There's, uh, there's a bit of thrust. This tail is all wrong. All wrong is this tail. Okay, now then, what sort of speed does one need to be doing in order to take off? That, well, which is it? It's not that, because that's bringing the downforce in the wrong direction. It should be this. Alright, abort, 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 brakes. Hold it together. Oh, we don't need that bit. Bit we did need. That's Katniss there. Look, she's she's fine. She'll she'll be all right. She'll walk away from now. It's, no, no, no. That's not a bit of land. What's what's this bit over here? That's uh, that's just a bit of debris. That's uh, that's good. All right, I've got to go back to school and figure out what lift looks like. But you you put the you what's it's down and you flipping take off. All right, I don't know why that went wrong. I'm sure in the comments you'll tell me why it went wrong. And you're going to go, it's the big tail, mate. That, that, that big tail's stupid. Good. Okay, Colonel Failure, signing out. I'll be back next time and who knows, I'll, maybe I'll accomplish something. Uh, I've got a pretty good suspicion I won't accomplish anything, but, you know. We'll keep pressing on with this until such a time as, uh, as I, I run out of experiments to do. Or... or I want to get to the moon, right? That's all I want to do, is I just want to get to the moon. I think I could probably do it now if I just paid attention to anything. Says that Katniss died. D uh, did she, though? I, I don't think she did. Yeah, I know, I cheesed it again. Ah, what you're going to do? It's, and it's purely because I haven't got the money to continually buy new pilots. Uh, you know, watching me kill Katniss a thousand times is evidently more exciting than anything else that could be going on. Anyway, I've finished the episode. I might use this as a thumbnail. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's center it in frame. Beautiful. Right. Cheerio!